Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. It's Jojo, I'm with Krista, and it's our last day in Disneyland. Big shout out to Rose for hosting us in this hotel. Great travel agent. If you wanna learn more about her or book with her, link down below in the comments. But yeah, we're just trying to get a bunch of stuff done today. We did Oogie Boogie yesterday, which was fun, but now we're lasering in on things that specifically Krista wants to do. Now, it is Monday. We're hoping that more of the Anaheim locals have work and the kids might have to go to school. It does seem a little less crowded today. Yeah, it does really feel like that right now, but we'll see. It is still technically the morning. What it's time is it? Early. It's early. It's almost 10 o'clock. Oh my gosh, we're in the parks before 10. That's crazy. Disneyland. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of people lining up to get into Disneyland right now. Dang, maybe we should have gone to California Not Adventure. California Adventure though. That's interesting. I know a lot of locals have been trying to get into the parks recently with their magic keys and they've been blocked out so maybe this is the first day which makes sense because it's a weekday that they can actually get in back inside disneyland and look we got Belle meeting outside i love when characters do that it's pretty cool they usually have princesses coming out here Hello, Disneyland. Don't see any characters. It's weird. I feel like we rope drop, but we didn't. We came an hour late, but so many more people came when we did than when the park first opened. I guess that's a little tip for you guys. If you really want to get up early, you might be rewarded. Oh, look. Look at Chip. He's an angel. That's so cute. He has a halo, wings. Everything. Ah, That's how he looks. For our last day, we did buy a lightning lane. $30 per person, which means freaking 60 bucks. But that's okay. We're looking for a ride to go on. Where is it? We saw a small wait time. Buzz Lightyear. 10.50. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. And then we're going to park hop over to California Adventure. All right. Okay, I say go get a fuel rod and try to get on Space Mountain Single Rider before then. Sounds good. You think? Yes. Let's do it. We got Inside Out Emotions for your creation on headband. They're new. Oh my gosh, the anxiety one is so freaking cool. Yeah, right? Uh -huh. So many different emotions. You can literally click okay. like four anger ones. And then we got zero as well. Sally for Halloween. Halfway through Main Street, they have this nice little alley. We have something like this too, but I feel like they don't decorate it as much. This is what Starbucks looks like. Definitely feels a little wider. We're heading into the locker storage area because they have fuel rods here. And Krista wants to get her money's worth after buying one for $40 yesterday at Oogie Boogie. Yeah, these flowers are given fall. That's your biggest gripe, right? People celebrate Halloween and not fall normal. I love they like I'm okay celebrating Halloween I feel like we just skip fall season after Halloween ends yeah but there's a whole month of like fall season before Christmas starts so yeah it goes straight into fall. Christmas I feel like the costumers here they just like I feel like they talk to me a lot more and they like crack jokes with me I don't know no that's fair different vibes different parks also maybe cast members have a little more time not as crazy as Walt Disney World. You never know. Yeah. This is definitely giving Disneyland though. Sunny day, horses, bubbles, castle, Matterhorn. It feels a little less crowded than the other day, but then again, the park is just starting, so. I'm not sure. We haven't even walked through Tomorrowland at all this whole trip. I know. I'm very excited. We want to we check off two things in this land this morning. So, Buzz get it. and Space Mountain. Let's do it. Tomorrowland. We'll never get over her. Astro Orbiter is right here. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's starting to grow on me. Definitely busy though. Or maybe this is normal crowds. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not a Disneyland local. First ride of the day, Astro blasters let's see how many rides we can do today lightning lane entry to the right 30 minute wait normally jk krista had a good idea instead of waiting four minutes for our lightning lane we're going to try to hop on single rider space mountain to save time krista to the left oh, space mountain's at a 35 minute wait but you can find single rider through the exits single rider is at the exits pretty cool people are coming out of the ride from the right we go to the left they gave us this little ticket we had to hand to them. And it does save a lot of time, so. I've been chosen number two. Chris is over there. 
Bye, Krista. Have fun. <laughs> wow. Super cool. Last time I was on this, it was Star Wars themed. So this time we just get to do it normally, I hope. The original is very different than Star Wars. It was fun. I still like Space Mountains in uh, Walt Disney World more. <laughs> LOL. All right, I saw Look at Krista. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Right I'm like straight facing. How was that? It was good. It was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot darker than I like. I haven't been on our space line in a while. Yeah. But it was really cool. The beginning, like them getting you up to the top. Yeah. There was a lot of there was a lot more going lights on, and stuff. Yeah. Lights. I really enjoyed it. Jerky. Ah. Uh. Jerkier. Okay. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the lady next to me was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. One ride down. Single ride is always a good go-to for this. Now we're back at Buzz, which has gone up to a 40-minute wait. We got our tickets. Here we go. One, two. Thank you. Let's see if Krista can beat me. This is your one game that you have a chance, because I don't know any secrets for this. I just shoot. I'm pretty bad at it, honestly. Like, I don't remember. Is this, this doesn't have like the butt, like, is this, the, does this have a button? I can't remember. It has a button, but it's like, you, you can hold to, it. You can hold it. You can so bring you, it out. You can hold it? You can't. You can. You can. Yes. Oh. I feel like I remember last time we couldn't hold it. No, you can hold it. You can pull it out and everything. Okay. Buzz Lightyear. Our Uber has arrived. Huh. Huh. Ah. Sitting, I love it. Come on, there you go. It glows green your gun when you hit something. Okay, okay, okay. I want to be good at this game, I'm just not. Alien, ah. I'm trying to aim at Zerg. Maybe the bottom of the ship? Got that one. I can't hit anything. It's so hard to aim. Oh, oh, I forgot you can move this. We haven't been moving this the whole time. That's crazy. I always forget you can move this ride. Not by too much though. We are planetary pilots. That's pretty good. I've never been a pilot before. That's fair, that's fair. People love their Disneyland churros. Long line. Also a decent long line for pretzels, but they have the jalapeno Filled pretzel here, or the Cheetos pretzel. That's what I want. I might have to come back for that. I love anything Cheetos. You know me at this point. Krista, you don't want to do the submarine voyage? No? no. no. I'm good. One and done. Don't have to do it again. We're good. <laughs> I do like Matterhorn. I know you don't, but... Well, because I feel like I like broke my spine in half last time. I That's half the fun. I know. It makes you want to swim. So pretty. By the way, if you want that cheese bread, it's over here. Is yeah, I believe so. Oh, we might have to get a nine. We could mobile order too. Cheesy garlic pretzel bread. Yep, get it. It's crazy. In Disneyland, people mobile order so much more. Our window to get that food is 30 minutes from now. I never see that in Walt Disney World. Oh my gosh. We had the option to go in Small World. I don't think we we're going to go on it regardless, but it's down now. Oh. For Christmas, they do a Christmas overlay. Wait, wait, did that happen like yesterday? Yeah, oh, it, like crazy. literally we had the option to go on this the first day we came and they closed it down. <laughs> I was able to get a virtual queue for Haunted Mansion this morning and we're waiting for the food. So until then, we have the choice of Alice in Wonderland or teacups. This is 10 minutes apparently and this is 25, which is true. 
The line's going all the way down the pathway. And this is a slower day, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could try teacups. I don't remember the last time I did teacups. Probably the VIP tour, yeah. All 11.28. Let's see how long this takes. 11.37, we're on the ride. So, not too bad of a wait. Oh, you got a cup that matched you. How fun. I like the light spin. I like how it's enjoyable. This is fun. Yeah, this is actually really relaxing. I agree. It's nice. And our Haunted Mansion boarding group just got called, so... Nice, we're doing things good today. We're navigating Disneyland a lot better today. Another reason why mobile ordering has a longer wait times is because the waits are just genuinely longer. A lot of locals like to come to Disneyland, not just to go on rides, but to eat their food. They have better food in Disneyland. It's just fact. We're picking up our food. Chris is excited. Another thing off the bucket list. <laughs> if you find a table to eat, you're lucky. Look at all the ducks, they're waiting for their food. Anyway, we got the goods. We just gotta find a spot to eat. There she is. Oh man. You could smell it. Oh, so gooey too. Nice and fresh. Mm. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the evil queen. She's so spooky. <laughs> Oops. She heard us. Oh, Chris, if you wanna go talk to you, you just gotta. Approach. I am nervous. I know, you should be. I should say, he has poo on his hat. No. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know if she'd like that, though. You want a picture of her? No, it's okay. You sure? We can ask. Okay. We're in the right trajectory for her. We can just ask. She's so pretty. You just gotta be nice about it. Not to take up too much of your time, can we take a quick photo? Yes, I suppose. I simply don't have a bad side after all. <laughs> Very true. Go ahead, Krista. Excuse me, my dear. I'll be right with you. Can we take a portrait? I was in the middle of a conversation here. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Ready? Three, two, one. Y'all are killing it. Thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome. Isn't it wonderful to see me, my dear? Of course. Yes. Very lovely. Farewell. Hello, <laughs> She was like, get out of the way, kid. I'm sorry, was... <laughs> kid. I didn't mean to ruin your Disney experience. No, you were there first. That's okay. I just wanted a picture with the look, look at Look at the picture now. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick drive by because there's a line. But it's Jasmine. Look how cute. We're going to keep on moving here. Sorry. That's so awesome. Aww. We want our really big magic carpet later. <laughs> Jasmine. But we can meet her back in the park. And as much as I want to get in line to meet her, Haunted Mansion time. Yeah, and the line was cut off. Oh, the line was cut off? Yeah. Fair enough. Gaston. Great to see me. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. Now, how are we doing today? Uh, doing Krista wonderful. is so excited to see you. She dressed up just like you. Oh, I see the red and yellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, looks, it looks okay on me. I'd say it looks even better on me. You know? Of course, of course. It's valid. It's a valid point. Yeah. So what do we have planned for today? Wait. Okay, wait, hold on. What brings you here, first of all? We, uh, wait, no, 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 let me answer that. It's, nas it's National Guest on. Ah, it is. shoot, you're right. Yeah, I saw that on the Disneyland website. see you, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. why she got the colors and everything. I know yeah. it's not the best. I know she has a little poo on her shirt, okay. but... That's all right. Shoot. Well, let's be honest, every day is National Guest. Ah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we grab a quick picture? I mean, I guess we can get a portrait, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's do it. Oh, man. <laughs> You don't mean to no, block you don't the way. Have to talk. Go ahead. You don't have to stop. Go ahead. Keep walking, please. Uh, you want to go ahead and get a portrait together? Right yeah. Here? Yeah. Go ahead, Krista. Yeah. You're matching. There you go. Nice. <laughs> and switch real quick. Beautiful. Really quick. Yeah. If I see Belle, I'll let you know. Okay. For a woman with a nose in her book. Fair enough. Yep. All right. If I see you, I'll let you know. Bye, Gaston. Thank you. <laughs> One of these days, I'll actually go into the Royal Hall. But we see so many characters outside anyway. Did I get my fill? That was fun. Always loved the Disneyland magic. Evil Queen Gaston crossover was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They did not want to talk to each other. Sometimes you'll see like the Evil Queen talk to like Peter Pan or something or Snow White. But two big egos like that clashing, they did not even want to <laughs> negotiate. That was crazy. You can really feel the tension. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels a little less crowded today. Or maybe we just have more sleep in us, so we don't feel as overwhelmed. What do you think? <laughs> I know it's definitely less crowded today, for sure. Okay. Like, for a fact. The first day we were here, this was like, this was like a bottle. Yeah, you couldn't even like see in front of you, basically. Always making new friends. What's your name? Donovan. Donovan. What's up, guys? Dude, the no, shirt, the killer. I yeah, love it. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, thanks for saying hi. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Nice meeting you.
That was cool. Pirates, 40 minute wait, but Pirates fluctuates. This is definitely one of the busiest areas right now. Haunted Mansion Holiday is virtual queue. I learned that the hard way last time I was here. I'm excited, I haven't done it this year yet, so. Oh man, there's a band over there. It looks like the band is waiting in line to get the Pirates. That's so crazy. There's so much happening. <laughs> that was actually really sweet. That's like Disneyland magic right there. I hope someone recorded that. I hope that's a core memory for her. These construction walls are here for the new Haunted Mansion gift shop. I think they've been making good progress. I'm not too sure, honestly. I don't really cover updates, but... Also, look, yeah, I can see a little scaffolding of a new store next to Tiana's. Anyways, virtual queue time. What's the reasoning behind them doing a virtual queue this year? I just think it got so popular. Mm -hmm and crowded so okay so oh also like i just mentioned the construction for the new gift shop they don't have as much of a queue you know it can't hold as much people as it normally does that's the main reason so if you were to do a vip tour would you still be able to get on this ride yeah yeah this line is pretty long though i don't think this is it krista i think it's i think it's over there it keeps going down regulating the flow of traffic this is crazy for the virtual queue jeez i wonder how long it's gonna take us to get on this what time is it krista 12 15. oh boy oh boy and we're right next to tiana oh my gosh I still have yet to go on that ride with you. Oh yeah. Which is nuts. Well, I've only been on it the once too. And you got stuck. I'm excited to see if there's gonna be any big differences or the same compared to Walt Disney World. I hope it's different. I mean, the ride vehicle sure itself, it's different. different. It's hard for me to decide which I like more. Haunted Mansion Holiday at nighttime or in the day. At nighttime, it definitely goes more with the vibe and all the spookiness, but in the daytime, you can appreciate more of the details. Like, look at the holiday ghost horse. <laughs> And the pumpkins. Oh, well, Krista, he's, he's down there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I didn't realize he was, he was down. <laughs> yeah, he's eating right now. Sometimes Sandy Claus will be up on the second floor saying hi to people when it's nighttime. Yeah, the queue is significantly smaller. You're basically only going through the front yard instead of going on the side of the house due to the construction. This is exciting! Haunted Mansion. You can see some concept art of the new store. Personally, I don't really care that much, but I've never noticed these guys before. We got Strippy, I believe. All the dead animals. Old fly bat, he croaked. August 9th, 1869. Fifi. The poodle, R.I.P. The bunny, I don't know the bunny's name. This looks like fresh mulch too. Buddy, our friend until the end. Aw. That one's not even funny, that one's just kind of seed. I like the flowers. Rosie, she was a poor little pig, but she bought the farm. I don't know what that means. You got some cats. Moving on and all the way down. Okay. Left, right, middle. Left, right, middle. We're going in. Spooky dookie. A tale that's quite charming. But during this season, it's sometimes alarming. So relax and reflect. Feel free to take pause. The stars all are by the chimney. I love it. It is 12.31. We're about to get on. Not too bad at all. Also, the queue itself down here, not as crowded as it normally is. And I think that's thanks to the virtual queue. 
Honestly, a good experience. We didn't have to wait that long at all. Our Uber has arrived. Spooky dookie. I love this ride. It's one of the coolest things that Disney Parks does for the holidays. <laughs> it's so crazy to see Christmas decorations already. On the 13th day of Christmas, my cool love gave to me 13 rings of power, embracing strength that never ends. 12 signs of the zodiac that Gingerbread. It smells so nice in here. Yeah. It smells like Christmas already. I love Zero. I love the little Oogie Boogie toy here. Where's the Oogie Boogie toy? There he is. I feel like some of this is new. I don't remember that Jack face, that's spooky. Box ghost guy. <laughs> yeah, this ride's literally crazy.
did we get? We got... Oh, we got the cool one. This is the cool one. All the characters pop out for us. This is the one you want. That's the one you want. Nice. Good run through. How was that? That was awesome. Yeah, it's really dope. It's, it's insane what they can do to that ride. Yeah, it's literally the best Haunted Mansion ride in the world for sure. And it's just fun to see what Disney can do. They need to do more of that soon. Oh my really, gosh. They really thought Look who it is, our friend. We have to. Hey. <laughs> I know you You guys have the best uh, VIP tour guide. Good to see you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Keep killing it. Good seeing you. Love the clap. We saw her. It's so funny. I literally just said that like a few minutes ago. I was like, I was wondering if she's here today. And she was. She's here. That's good to see her. A ride number three done. We're doing good. Yeah, we are. We're going. We're headed to ride number four. Big Thunder Mountain, the wildest ride on the West Coast. Well, well, yeah, wilderness is the right term. I say the West Coast because the wildest ride is Big Thunder Paris. I gotta go back to that ride soon. I said this in my vlog the other day, but Tom Sawyer's Island isn't leaving Disneyland. So for anyone who's that upset about Tom Sawyer, at least you can uh, come back to Disneyland. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> good to see you. Are you guys good? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, um, my friend Chris here wanted to say hi to you. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Love your life. Oh. Thank you. He sees the jewels. <laughs> so how's your day been today, Captain Jack Sparrow? What a loaded question. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. You look at it. <laughs> how's your day? Good, good. Nothing much going on, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, this this tiny little thing, it's creepy, but it's, it's, it's a storyteller. I just put in the mildly and I know creepy. <laughs> it. Yeah, it has uh, Davy Jones in here somewhere too. I doubt it. <laughs> I well, don't know how that works. Yeah, kind of, not really. What's this thing sticking out of your hat? Oh, it's a little bear, it's called Pooh. We got Pooh, I got Pooh on my hat and she has Pooh on her shirt. Like, Pooh Bear. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I, fair enough, fair enough. Well, should we get a portrait real quick? If you fancy, then yes. Yes, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice, smooth. Wow, that was, that was good. <laughs> they don't, I, I got you with the camera, hold on. You know, if you had your right hand free, you wouldn't have so much trouble. I know, I know. It's this, it's this blasted little camera I have. I got so many doohickeys, inventions. You could probably profit off some of it. Three, two, one. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Jack. See you later. <laughs> I never know what to say to them. Yeah, like, same. I just like, I never know what to say because it's like, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm not an actress. I've never claimed to be an actress. <laughs> no, I got you. Especially me seeing Captain Jack Sparrow over here. I always run into him and I can never tell if he's happy or not happy to see me. <laughs> he remembers me and that's all that matters. I'm glad about that. The other night, by the way, Scarlet Witch recognized me from last year because I kind of talked bad wizard. about her kids. <laughs> well, you also called her a wizard. Though. Yeah, that is true. She did not like that. She was them. not happy with you about that. Yeah, she was that not happy that she remembered me a year later. So, it's okay, Krista. Sometimes when it comes to characters, you might just say stuff and it might not land, but mm -hmm. you just move on. Well, I mean, apparently it'll never work between Jack and I. Oh, uh, why? He, he, he told me, he grabbed my hand. You didn't hear him? No. He was like, unfortunately, darling, it'll never work between us. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he was like, you could do better, but you could also do worse. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn. Fair enough. I know people in Disney World would go crazy if we had this meet and greet. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, 45 minute wait. But we got the lightning lane. It's definitely easier to use over here. I feel like you get more uses, you know? Between two parks, you can have a lot more flexibility on what rides you end up picking. It's $30 for both parks. I love this ride. There's aspects of Big Thunder Mountain on the West Coast I appreciate more than Disney World. Like the TNT room, there's more lights and animations. It makes it feel like the mind's actually blowing up compared to just being in a stagnant room with loud noises. Needless to say, Lightning Lane is definitely helping us out on this one. So I think it was worth it for the day. Yeah. And I love how compact the queue is. Like the coaster's literally right here. There she is. 
How fun. That's cool. That's Why is that train going backwards? You don't see that every day. <laughs> I'm loco. <laughs> Makes sense for that train to be going backwards. With all that being said, our Uber has arrived. Let's boo this. You ready? Oh yes, so ready. Go, stare at it. Did it do something? It did, it was just like lip lash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gosh, I'm like holding on for dear life, you know? know. <laughs> uh, hello. Yo, what's good, gang? You want some whiskey? I do. We got some... That's poker. We don't want poker and dancing right now. There it is. We serve the finest corn and whiskey. Dance hall. Wait, I said dance hall? Yeah. Oh, man. That's crazy. Dance hall. We're going over to Pooh's Corner real quick because we got to get some pics because... Chris has poo all over her. <laughs> oh, we got poo. How cute. Poo ride is down. We're taking some pictures over here. And look, the ride vehicle in front of us. Its name is Christopher Robin. I love that. The poo corner is under maintenance right now. The poo corner has a lot of snacks and treats and cute merchandise. I don't know. It doesn't matter what park I'm in. I feel like the Pooh Bear merchandise pops off. I mean, I'm wearing poo. 137. The park is starting to fill up again, huh? Yes, it is. It's getting quite crowded. And the, the ride lines, the, they're, they're going up. So we decided that we're gonna go to downtown Disney, which is nice compared to Walt Disney World where you don't have the downtown area right next to the parks. It is close to here. I'm gonna grab some ice cream, and then we might just enjoy the resort a little bit, hang out, come back later. Yeah, we have lightning lanes, so we're allowed to rebook soon. Yep. So we're gonna try to stack some lightning lanes and then come back in the evening. When yeah. It's a cooler out again. A little cooler, maybe a little less crowded, or at least when we have stuff to do. We don't really want to wait in 30 plus minute waits, especially while we have other things we can do. We're vibing today. We're going with the flow. We're not trying to force things. We did the first night, and that got a little rough at the end. I don't think we forced anything. I think we just wanted to do more than... We should have. We should have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't listen to our bodies. Today we are... That's interesting. Jungle Cruise is actually closed. The whole door is just boarded up. We've seen so many rides open they, and closed. They switch um, to Christmas, too. I think the they cars, have a holiday like a overlay. Cruise. Actually, I'm not too sure. Good question. So nice. Good weather. Not hot like Orlando. Still, this is great. I'm just, just living. Good vibes. Seems that a parade is starting soon. 
a little concert parade that they do with the band. Krista wanted to check out the Emporium, get some merch, Disney Land. Shoulder plushie of zero, that's so cute. Uh-oh. You do match. I like him because he's, the, he's one of those um, weighted, weighted ones. ones. Yeah. It's like my child. <laughs> Don't touch my poo. <laughs> I mean, oh, he hurt Pooh's feelings. He's sad you're leaving him. She doesn't care about you, Pooh. I do. And from last night, Marie. Cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, wait, look, there's a baby. I kind of like her. You got Marie and Pooh right next to each other. I know. Oh, and what Donald. Literally me and one, like, this is me in one sentence. Donald, Pooh, and, and Marie. And then a dinosaur. Oh, and a dinosaur, that's true. <laughs> Uh-oh, Krista. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> they do have a Halloween cavalcade in about an hour, but we're gonna choose to go back and relax and rest a little bit before we come back at nighttime. Doing a full park day is not in the cards today for me. Salt and straw, you've been waiting for this. I'm excited. It smells so good. It does. It just like every time draws you in. You're like, yep. And this is the original salt and straw. They had this place here long before the one in Disney Springs. I've actually never ordered anything from salt and straw before from either location. I'm testing the green apple wasabi sorbet. It's not bad. It has very small hints of wasabi. It's interesting. I can't eat a whole thing of that, but it's not bad. What'd you get, Krista? I got a mint chocolate chip um, vegan ice cream in a cup. Nice. Is it good? It's delicious. And best part, it's not gonna melt. Oh, true. Because we're not in Florida. <laughs> I ended up getting a shake from Black Tap. Cheers. Boop. I will never get tired of this view after a park. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Home. Finally, we've made it to the pool. What's really nice is that they leave towels on the chairs and you can pull up. And they bring food to you if you want. The pool is heated, the sun is warm. I'm gonna check out the spa real quick, see how hot it actually can get. This is so strange for me, I've never done this before. Being in a hot tub or a pool at Disneyland, I've never done this before. This is crazy. How's the water? Ordinarily hot, like almost where like it hurts when you first get in, then you get used to it. Yeah, it's crazy because the temperatures are so up and down. Like in the shade, it's cold. My like kids did a cannonball into the hot tub. Kind of have to expect that when you're at a Disney Land hotel. Comfy, I am. Cheers. Beep. This is something that JoJo never does, but I like it. The sun, I'm telling you, it just makes the biggest difference. The sun's hitting us right now. Uh, but if you go into the shade right over there, it's freezing. Also, we dipped into the water. It's nice. It's warm, but obviously not as hot as a hot tub, so. Here's the menu, by the way. It's super relaxed out here, I must say. You can grab food and drinks at the bar. There is an order to go station. You have tables you can sit down at, or you can get food brought to you by the pool. They have regular apps, beer, wine, food, chicken wings, nachos, all of that jazz, pizzas, salads, pretty nice. And if you want service, you just put up this flag. Bing! Oh wow, I'm learning. So they actually have different menus compared to the pool and the bar. Thank you. Ah, coming back to a nice clean room. Do we have to leave Krista? We changed. We're good to go for our last evening in Disneyland. Very, very excited. We have a few more things left on the checklist and then we leave tomorrow. Yeah. I think leaving this place is a little easier for me right now, knowing that we're going on a Disney cruise, not even like yeah, two days later. I'm really excited for the cruise. I am, I'm sad to leave this place. I love this hotel. I love Disneyland. But yeah, we were saying yeah. if we ever get DVC, like this, this hotel, this it's is so it. nice. This is our home. This is like, <laughs> this is it. This is a solid spot. Again, a big shout out to Rose for hosting us here. Thank you. Going to Disney's California Adventure one more time. And we decided we'd walk through Grand Californian because they have their own entrance. And we're just 
keeping it fresh, switching it up. By the way, our resort access does grant us access into Disney's Grand Californian, so that's nice. We like that. A fireplace over here. Granted, we should turn around, but I just wanted to show off how nice the pool is over there. It's very lush, you know? It is very lush, very cozy, relaxing, very demure. So, we made our reservation a couple hours ago for a Goofy Sky School. That's where we're headed over here, but Goofy's is down. But we got a multi-experience pass. But Guardians doesn't count. <laughs> I know. Why are you playing with my heart? What the heck? I know. So now, I guess I'll let you figure out. There's a few rides that we might be able to use that could be exciting. But I'll let you see for yourself. It's kind of annoying because this multi-experience pass literally does not include any of like the big rides. Web Slingers, Guardians. Radiator Springs, which that one I get because you have to buy that separately. But I think it's kind of annoying that Guardians doesn't count. Hello, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Alright, thank you. One. Awesome. You both have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. And just like that, we're back in Disney's California Adventure. I love how chill it is, you know? You have to kind of almost rewire your brain. We weren't in a park like 10 seconds ago, now we're just in the park, you feel me? Like normally you see the big signage and your brain just mentally prepares itself like, oh, I'm going into a theme park. But now we went from a resort to park. So do you want to do the picture pal around then? That's fine. Cool. I think they normally don't offer lightning lanes for that ride, so this will be fun. Grizzly River Run is at a 25 minute wait. Look, Krista, you can see all the villains. This one, I didn't know they had the villain from Hunchback of Notre Dame in here. I don't think that's true. I think they took him out or something. We know Dr. Facilier. By the way, Redwood Creek is normal today. See, Krista, you were asking me what it normally is. It's just like a little play park. But tonight, there's no Oogie Boogie Bash, which means the park stays open until 10 p.m. Back in DCA. I just proposed a really tough scenario to Krista. DCA or Disneyland? She could only save one. The other one's gonna get hit by a meteorite. Tomorrow. The thing is, like, I really like DCA's vibe, and they do have like the thrill ride, the thrill rides that Disneyland doesn't have. But Disneyland, it's Disneyland. Yeah. It's it's. I mean, it's Disneyland. I know. You know. So which one would you get I rid of? I save both. What? <laughs> I'm a superhero, and I swooped in, and I took the meteor, and I threw it back into space. <laughs> Fair enough. If I had to pick, I'd keep DCA. Just because it is very different, and Disneyland is Disneyland, but Disney World's very similar, so. But yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I'm glad you have superpowers, and you can save the world. I do have superpowers. Hey look, it's Miguel. That was a fun character meet and greet. <laughs> this may or may not be my last drink. I've been talking about it all weekend, the watermelon candy cocktail. It's just delicious because it has a freaking watermelon candy inside of it. And last time I had to throw mine out because of Goofy Sky School. I don't even want the drink. I just want the candy. Krista, try it. This is your drink. You said we share it. It just looks scary. It does look scary, but it's good. What is it? It's a watermelon tequila drink. Spicy. I thought you like spicy. Not on my drink. Ah, uh, that's the distinction. Oh my gosh. When you get some of that off, I'll have some. Yeah, yeah, the the rim or is kind of rough. Get, if you get like a straw, I'll have some more. Yeah, we, we gotta we gotta get you a straw, I think. Woo. That was I didn't even taste the drink. I just <laughs> tasted spice. <laughs> you know what I just realized everyone? The reason why I like this drink so much is because I literally get a full on lollipop. Back when I was a little kid, my Disney World experience wasn't complete until I had a lollipop to eat and suck on the whole time. Now, 20 something years later, JoJo's still getting lollipops. Now just with alcohol. <laughs> it's great. And that's why Disney is for adults as well. Try to drink. She has a straw now. No, that's so much better without the- Does it taste sauce. good though? Yeah. Cool, I'm glad you like it. You can help me drink it now. <laughs> I think I might go get some bread. 
It's time for the Pixar Pal Round. Because our Goofy's Lightning Lane was canceled, multi-experience pass, the wait time is about a 45 minute wait right now. And it's nice because there's no Lightning Lane. So we're getting like exclusive access to this. And a really cool thing that sometimes happens in Disney, because we don't have a Lightning Lane, we get to walk up the exit and skip the whole line. They gave us this cute little blue pamphlet. This is deja vu. <laughs> VIP? Yeah. Yup. We skip all of this. Because the left line right here is the non-swing gondola. All the way to the front. I think this is us. I believe. Watch your step. That was easy. Yeah. Very simple. You get scared on this? No. No? <laughs> okay, fair. So this ride does two spins. We're going up. Oh, my. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh man. Have you guys been on this before? No. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do they not have the vomit bags in here anymore? Uh, they might. I'm not too sure. Do you need one? No, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's half the fun. It's kind of crazy how high you get, huh? I know. <laughs> it stops periodically in the first rotation because people are boarding it. <laughs> you guys gotta look this way when we're going down. It, it looks it looks like you're gonna get flung off. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a fun ride. Oh my god. Oh, the G forces are crazy. Oh yeah. We're doing as many rides as we can. Next up, Incredible Coaster. The Lightning Lane has been a great tool today, huh? Yeah, it's been awesome. Even though it was $30, it was worth it because we're only here on our last day. Yeah, and we've been getting on a lot, you know? A lot. You evade a lot of wait times because even though it's a Monday, there's a ton of people here. This might be my favorite ride. Yeah. I don't know. I can go on it so many times and not get old. Yeah, it's so smooth but fast and fun, especially when the sun is setting. It's just so fun to go on. You get amazing views. Our Uber has arrived. Let's do this. As Chris is looking to see if there's any other lightning lanes we can snag, we've had a great day. We've done Incredicoaster, Haunted Mansion, Big Thunder, the Pixar Fun Wheel, Buzz Lightyear, and a couple other rides, I think, right? Or... Yeah, we've done a lot today. It's been fantastic. And we went to a hot tub somehow in the midst of all that. That's what blows my mind. Crazy. It's been fun. It's been a good last day for sure. A fun evening in Disney's California Adventure. There's Mickey. Bye, Mickey. Oh, <laughs> we didn't get to do Guardians, but we got to do it last time. Twice. And it always gives us a reason to come back. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, honestly. True. I think it's nice to not force yourself to do everything. I can't complain, though. Today's been amazing. 
Yeah. It's genuinely been amazing. It's truly been a good day. And we're not done yet. We're headed over to Disneyland for one, maybe two more rides. Oh wait, Krista wanted to look at the merchandise. Right away, we got Oogie Boogie Bash 2024 merch. You get discounted if you have a magic key. Honestly, at this point, I should have bought a magic key. And I probably still should buy a magic key. But I really don't want to come back to Disneyland for a while. I'll talk about it a little more at the end of the video. Look at these pillows, bro. I love the merchandise. It's sad to leave Disney's California Adventure. I just feel like it's such a fun place to vibe. And if I lived here, I would definitely be coming here once or twice a week. Kind of what I do over at Walt Disney World. But you can't have everything. We'll keep this place like a vacation. And goodbye, Oogie Boogie. See you later. Now we're hopping over to Disneyland. It's so freaking fun to just hop back and forth. If I was living here, I know I'd be going boop, 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 boop all the time. Mickey to the right. Captain Hook in the distance. I know it's hard to see him, but he's there. And then Goofy to the left. It's just so fun. Imagine walking in to Disneyland for your first time. And the first thing you see is freaking Captain Hook just strolling around like, Ugh. I love Walt Disney World, but there's something about Disneyland. I will always say that I love the characters. It has such a special, I don't know, aspect to it. I think Chris is getting emotional, everybody. What's up? It's just beautiful here. <laughs> I'm just so like happy to be here and I don't want to leave. It just looks beautiful and it feels beautiful out. Beautiful day, it's been awesome, and I don't want to leave. Just yeah. having, I'm having FOMO of leaving. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm feeling the FOMO of us leaving tomorrow today. That's fair. Like, I'm feeling it from the future, Krista. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm standing here right now. In the moment. In I got, moment. oh, it's got some water on our face. It yeah, keeps happening to me, too. I don't know what it is. The water on your face? Now, we're not staying here too late tonight, even though the park's open until midnight. <laughs> We've had a long day, and we have an even earlier flight, so. Oh my gosh, my last food item is gonna be Bengal barbecue. Freaking 63 minute arrival for the next one. That's nuts. Oh yeah, we did teacups today. Oh, we did do teacups today. <laughs> yeah, a lot done. So what did you order? Um, I got a vegan Ronto wrap. What's it called? Ron Ronto list, something. The like Ronto list wrap, yep, there we go. We're gonna make our way back to Galaxy's Edge, which is crazy. That's the one thing that throws me off. They have Galaxy's Edge here in Disneyland. <laughs> Imagine Magic Kingdom with Galaxy's Edge. It doesn't make sense, but here, kind of makes sense. Also, Tinkerbell's meet and greet area, so cool. Look how sparkly and pretty it is. We didn't do Matterhorn. Chris is not sad about that one, though. I think it's a cool ride. I think it's a cool concept. I get the like love for it. I just, you know, my back just, just not a fan. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And again, another reason why I'm excited to come back to Disneyland. Krista and I take about Fantasyland and Disneyland. We like Walt Disney World more. We think it's a little more prettier. It also has more space. Yeah, and like Dumbo has its own little section. Like it's just nice. It's a little more spread out, and it's definitely. A lot prettier over it. And I'm saying this isn't pretty. We understand that Disneyland has a lot less space to work with. And if you guys like fantasy land over here, that's fine. We just prefer Walt Disney World. Yeah, like honestly, looking at Dumbo right now made me miss uh, Orlando a little bit. I really. I love the circus at nighttime when no one's there. At first, the transition confused me, but now I like it. We're in Frontierland, technically, next to Big Thunder. See a stage wagon, all that jazz. And then you go through this bridge into Galaxy's Edge. And this is our first time in Galaxy's Edge? I don't think I've been to Galaxy's Edge in a while. Like, I don't even know if I came here during D23. I'm pretty sure I didn't, so. So it is the first time in California Galaxy's Edge this year. For a while. Yeah, this year, yeah, yeah. Isn't this weird right here? How we just came in? This gate's not open over in Orlando. You normally don't come in this way. Yeah, but those are little things that you notice that, like, Right over my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, this would be the entrance to the Galactic Star Cruiser. Sad that it's uh, gone. Anyway, yeah, Ogus is right there. Back at Ronto Roasters. And it's kind of crazy they don't have this in Disney World, but they have the Ronto Less Garden Wrap. Krista loves this. Plant-based sausage, spicy kimchi slaw, sweet pickled cucumber, and uh, something spread wrapped in pita bread. Yum. Here she is. I got it. Oh, I'm so excited. 
I smell the cucumber. Take a bite. Was it worth all the hype? Please bring this to Disney World. Like, do your vegans and vegetarians a favor. And just bring it to Disney World. It's so good. It looks... This is the best thing I've had the entire trip, hands down. You've had so much good stuff to eat, though. This is the best thing. Why? Hands down, just like the flavor. It's just like, it tastes just, it just tastes so good. It's like spicy, but it's fresh, but it's like filling, it's just perfect. So this is a really cool update and I'm kind of mad I didn't cover this on my trip, but if you look over here to the right, look at that. They added a special droid. He's massive, you do not understand. He's looking around, so cool, exclusive to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland. Basically, something that people started doing is that in Galaxy's Edge, you get an amazing view of the Disneyland fireworks right over this mountain here. And Disneyland was like, you know what? There's so many people coming here. It's kind of awkward because they can't change the theme. You know, they can't play Disney music in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It would ruin the theme. So what they did instead is do a whole different take on the fireworks and this is the narrator. Basically, right when the fireworks begin, he gives a whole different story, basically celebrating the rising of the moons and keeping it in the lore of Galaxy's Edge. Maybe that's the only thing I'm disappointed about. Granted, we didn't really have time to come see the fireworks. We were too tired. We can barely survive Fantasmic the other day. And they only do fireworks on the weekend, and today is Monday. And yesterday we were doing Oogie Boogie, so... Sometimes you can't do everything, but one thing we made sure we did was get a Ronto wrap. <laughs> Rise of the Resistance at a 65 minute wait right now. Hey Ray! <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, we were just getting a vegetable Ronto wrap. Really good. No Ronto. Sounds like something Chewy would not like. Ah, yeah, Chewy would definitely not like it. He prefers to only have the Ronto. That's fair. <laughs> That's fine. That's I get that. I feel that. Well, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was delicious. I never had anything better in my entire life. So. Yeah, it was worth it. We flew, should I say, went thousands through space. We threw thousands of miles to be here. Wow. Just, just for the Ronto. Yeah, just for the Ronto yeah. wrap. And That's amazing. Yeah. We're getting on a space station tomorrow and leaving, going back to our planet. Kind of similar. It's 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 like Batu, a little different, a little hotter, more humid. Oh, yeah. Kind of like Jakku. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like Jakku, actually. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. No. Well. Nice to luck on your. Yeah, I know. I know. She doesn't want to leave. She rather just. Yeah, I'd rather stay here, um, but I'm being forced to leave. So. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I'm I'm sure that a time will come when you're needed here on planet again. Oh, absolutely. And I will be here when that time comes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good to see you, Ray. Good to see you as well. Yeah. Safe travels. Thank you, thank you. I felt bad. I said miles. I'm like, gosh darn it, JoJo. Uh, uh, space stuff. Uh, light years. Uh, it's fine. It still works. She got the vibes. She understands. On our way to our last ride, we get a nice look at the Haunted Mansion and all of its decoration glory at nighttime. Right here. I'll never forget, this is where Krista almost passed away and became another ghost in the Haunted Mansion. What is it? Uh, 999. The Thousand Soul. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Oh my goodness. This is actually happening for once. We're going on to Indiana Jones and the ride isn't closed. Normally, I have to like come back five minutes before the park is closing at 12 a.m. to get on this ride, but Today we're just going on it. Fingers crossed. We're here. No issues. No ifs, ands, or buts. 55 minute wait, but we got lightning lane. One, two. Awesome. Thank you. This way? Up the bridge we go. Lightning lane. To explain things simply, it's crazy that the merge for lightning lane and regular queue is right here. But Disney does it well, I believe. We'll see. What time is it, Krista? 756, let's see how long this takes. Thank you. We're going in. I love this queue though. If everything goes smoothly, we shouldn't stop. You know it's a long line if we're waiting in this queue. I don't think Disneyland wants people waiting in this queue area because one, they took out the interactive elements and two, oh boy. I think this is gonna be a bit of a wait, Krista. We're 
almost there. Also, I love their costumes. Very indie. No one's wearing the hat tonight though, sadly. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Honestly, the wait wasn't that bad at all. I'm just being a little dramatic. 8, 12, our Uber has arrived. We're in the front seat, this is so exciting. The future, my beloved of time, it is your So at Bangle Barbecue. I did a mobile order about an hour and a half ago and it's time to reap my rewards. So normally you can order one skewer to have a bunch of different options. But I got the meal, which is two skewers, some slaw and rice. I got two of the same though. I got the sweet and spicy beef. Sometimes it's spicier than I remember, so let's see. It's spicy, but delicious. Beautiful night. What time is it, Krista? 8.42. Goodbye, Disneyland. I don't know when next time I'll see you. But until then, I remember these awesome memories we made this weekend and over the last couple of months. It's not as sentimental because you can't see the train station, but good night, Disneyland. It's so pretty. We were just talking about how awesome Disneyland is. The weather, as we've been raving about all day. But it's just a nice vibe. We're definitely gonna miss it, but definitely something to look forward to come back to. That's how I always count trips these days because when I was a little kid I was such a brat <laughs> anytime going to Walt Disney World I never appreciated the moment because I was too sad that I was leaving so now I try to appreciate it and keep the sad feelings down <laughs> always making new friends what's your name Isaac and Raquel. it's funny they came up to me like yo wait where do you live you've been down here a lot recently no I promise you I'm leaving California. <laughs> I have a good time here, but I'm gonna give myself a break. Y'all gotta come to Walt Disney World soon, yeah? We did, we've never been. Oh my gosh, you've been to Tokyo before? Yeah, I know. Right? Hey man, I don't blame you. Tokyo's amazing. <laughs> Tokyo before Florida. Hey, be like that sometimes. But anyway, guys, nice to meet you. 
you. Me too. Have a good night, okay? Have a good night. See ya. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Are y'all sick of me filming this view? Too bad. I love it. We got movies playing tonight. Descendants. Uh, not too many fans, I guess. Or maybe everyone's just in the park, which is probably the more likely option. Everyone's a lot younger and more spry than us old people. Turning in so early. Krista's sad about leaving Disneyland. I'm sad about leaving this beautiful bathroom. Look at it. I want it in my house. If I ever get enough money, I'm gonna commission someone to do it for me. We're home. I don't think my legs work anymore. Hey, that means it's been a good Disneyland trip. So I'm definitely not coming back to Disneyland for a while. But clearly not for any bad reason. Over the last month or so, I've been having so much fun here. So many different experiences. I had a whole like media experience and I had a solo trip experience and I had a trip with Krista. So it's been a blast, but I've really squeezed everything I can out of Disneyland. And the crazy part is there's actually so much I didn't do. I barely covered anything. Like, I mean, it was a Halloween cavalcade, Trader Sam's, restaurants. But yes, I definitely need a break. This four to five hour flight tomorrow back to Orlando will literally kill me. I'm not vlogging it because it's just gonna be a lot. This much travel is intense, but I've been having a lot of fun because of you guys. So let me know down below, where should I go next? I truly don't think I'll be back here for next Halloween unless they update Oogie Boogie, which now that I'm saying it, they probably will. Or, you know, if Disney hits me up and wants me to come out, that's fine. But for my own personal trips, I won't be coming out here. Disneyland is great, but I miss Disney World. An awesome last day, though, right? A great way to end it. Like, if I didn't come back for the next three years, I'd be okay. I hope it's not that long. But, like, it's been a great day. A nice conclusion to my Disneyland vlogs. Krista, you had a good time, obviously. Very, very, very. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And uh, next stop is a cruise. And then I'm going to sleep. And maybe make some merchandise. Or try to do something interesting and cool for you guys. Either way, I'm going to enjoy the journey. Bye, everybody. I miss you forever. I mean, until all that time. <laughs> Are you saying bye to Disneyland or the people? Yes. Got you. All right. Goodbye.